All right, so we're gonna do the bronchial tree and we're gonna do the bronchiole tree. All right, and we're gonna do it based on what we have in our book. So I'm following the picture in the book and showing you all those parts using our models. All right, so let's start up here. There's our trachea, all right, and you can see the, the tracheal rings. All right, that's gonna pass behind here and then you see it emerge again, all right? And it's gonna end at the carina and then we're gonna have a bifurcation. All right, we're gonna have a right branch and a left branch. All right, so there's some different terminology floating around. Primary bronchi, those are the first two branches, and there's two of them, one right, one left, all right? They're also using the terminology main bronchi, main bronchi, all right? Coming off of the main bronchi, you're gonna have the secondary bronchi. Right, or the lobar bronchi, another term for them, lobar. Now notice here, one, two, one, two, three. So the lobar mean bronchi going to the lobes. And here the right lung is gonna have three lobes and the left lung is only gonna have two lobes. All right, so there's our secondary or lobar. Once we enter in, all right, so kind of continue right here, as it enters into the lung, it's gonna branch again. These are gonna be tertiary or segmental bronchi, tertiary or segmental. And then finally, the smallest branches are known, believe it or not, as smaller or small bronchi. And notice they all have little bits of blue cartilage on them. All of the components of the bronchial tree have cartilage on them. Okay, so that ends the bronchial tree. It doesn't end the passageway, but that ends the bronchial tree. So now let's take this way. Just pop this one in here for a moment. It's a different model, but same idea. Here's the larynx, voice box. Here's our trachea. Here's where it bifurcates into the right and left primary. Okay, and let's just turn a little bit. And you can then see this main passageway starting to branch. Here's a secondary, here's a secondary, all right? Here may be another secondary coming off. We've gotta to try to find three secondary on the right. The secondary then going to become tertiary and the key to this model is where the color meets the white where the color meets the white where the color meets the white those are our tertiary bronchi so this is all tertiary here right tertiary tertiary at the end of the tertiary ends about here these smaller branches those are the small bronchi and that's where the bronchial tree ends so all these little colored tips, small bronchi. And then this will continue into what's known as the bronchioles. And that's where this comes into play, okay? So theoretically, this attaches to this. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb, and that usually means a lot of comments will be coming in about this video, right? I'm saying that this is the beginning of the bronchioles, and I'll show you why. The only problem with saying that is you see these little pieces of blue here? Well, those little pieces of blue mean cartilage. If you see cartilage, that means bronchi, not bronchiole. When you get to the bronchioles, this should be all smooth muscle wrapped around, like the picture in our book shows. I mean, we have this picture the only difference between this and our picture is that instead of blue, this is wrapped in smooth muscle. Now, why do I do that? Well, let's work backwards. Let's work backwards. These are, each one of these little bubbles is an alveolus. They're clustered together into groups. So here's a group, here's a group, here's a group, here's a group, here's a group. These are known as sacs, alveolar sacs groups of alveoli. 
going to just twist this a little bit down the center. So here's the open, this little dark area here. This is the opening. Down the center of a sac is an alveolar duct. The alveolar duct supplies air to, see all these little alveoli? They're supplied air via the alveolar duct. So it runs from here and it runs all the way up to here. Okay? And then it's going to attach to these passageways. All right? So the alveolar duct has to attach somewhere. All right, what does the alveolar duct attach to? It attach, attaches to the respiratory bronchial. All right, so see these little nubs here? This, this, and probably one behind here. These are the respiratory bronchial. And the alveolar ducts are branches off of the respiratory. What does respiratory attach to? It attaches to terminal bronchioles. So, what do these attach to? These are attaching to that guy here in the back, or this, or this. I mean, let me turn it around, all right? This, and this, and this thing here, these are our terminals, and you can see a little respiratory coming off of it. So these are our terminal bronchioles. What do terminal bronchioles attach to? The bronchiole, and there it is, the bronchiole. Because the flow, if we look at our picture from our book, bronchial to terminal bronchioles to then little branches off of the terminal, respiratory bronchioles, and then branches off of that, alveolar ducts going into the sac, going into the alveolar sac. So that's why I call this the bronchial model with all of our parts. I call this the bronchi, bronchial tree, as is this, all right? This is all bronchi, bronchi, bronchioles.